Hey guys, Luke Halliday here for Snap30 with yet another Skate the Infinity episode review. This is my review for episode 9 of the series and this was not an episode filled with subtlety or nuance. And I'm beginning to see some troubling trends in Skate the Infinity as it powers through its second half. While the first half of the series focused on falling in love with skating and the wonder of it, the second half seems to be more focused on melodrama and ridiculous skateboarding stunts that are as dumb as they are unbelievable. While it is fair to say that sports anime often have somewhat of a fantastical take on things, Skate Infinity began as a very grounded show that focused on skateboarding in a realistic and authentic manner, but that seems to have gone out the window as time has rolled on. This episode, two of the tournament matches take place. First of is Joe vs. Langer, which was fine for the most part, and despite some ridiculous moments like Joe removing his feet off the board and riding it with his hands in a Superman-like position, this maneuver could not possibly be performed in reality. Uh, that said, it is anime, so it's fair to give it a pass. The race is a bit back and forth, but uh, before Langer ultimately wins after uh, some sideline cheering on from Reki. The Reki and Langer drama is still going on, but it's largely in the background of this episode as it explores the history between Adam, Joe, and Cherry. Seems that we are uh, that they were all kind of uh, skating buddies back in high school day in their high school days and. Uh, somewhere along the way, Adam became the awful piece of shit that we now know him to be for reasons uh, yet to be explained. Uh, we also get the main event match of the episode with Adam and Cherry going head to head. Adam attempts his stupid love hug move. When that fails, Adam literally hops off his board, runs full force at Cherry and beats him over the head of his skateboard. Which somehow means he wins the race. Yeah. Cherry's hospitalized. Adam faces no repercussions for hopping off his board mid-race and physically assaulting his opponent. This was for me the jump the shark moment for Skate the Infinity. It just makes no sense that this would happen, nor that it would be an acceptable thing to do in an S-race. We know that Adam has injured other skaters by outskating them and causing them to crash or fall off their boards, but seeing him just swing his board at Cherry's face like a baseball bat was beyond my suspension of disbelief. All in all, I thought that this was not a great episode for the series, one that ultimately just lost the plot completely and devolved into a moment of utter nonsensical violence. I hope that Skate the Infinity can get back on track after this episode, but I'm feeling more and more that the series is skating away from what made it great in its early episodes, and my enthusiasm for it is starting to grind to a halt. Yes, I had to put those puns in the end there, but uh, that's going to be it for this week. I'll be back next week with episode 10. Uh, we're heading very fast towards the uh, end of the series. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this episode. What did you think of that weird assault in the middle of a skateboarding race? And um, yeah, like, subscribe, you know what to do. Take it easy. Peace. Have a good one, guys. Catch us later.